Yep. You know that it's Monday when, um, you immediately wake up and you completely forget what day it was for like three seconds. Oh, I mean, it's actually not unheard of. I mean, I think I once read that when you first wake up, you have no clue where you are for like up to three seconds or something. So, yeah, I was, uh, unaware of my settings is what it was. All I knew is that I was laying in my bed. That was about it. So, yeah. Although, remember when I said that eventually the weather's going to get better? I get ready to go working out. 52 degrees outside. It is finally warm. It's very cloudy. In fact... I forget if we're supposed to get any sun today, but, you know, I'll take 52 degrees all day long, and that's the perfect way to start off a happy Monday, everybody. I like the way I worked, worked, worked that way in. Um, so, yeah, I watched, um, again, not a lot really was going on yesterday, I mean, sadly they canceled the Alliance of American Football, so... No spring football. The only thing that really was on worth watching was, um, well, I shouldn't say worth watching because it actually was pretty good. It was the, uh, women's college basketball championships, Notre Dame and, uh, who, uh, hold on a second. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pressing the end key. Thank you. And C A A. Basketball. Uh. Hold on. Women's. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh. Oh. Yep. Yeah, Baylor won. They, uh. I mean, it was that. I mean, Baylor ended up being Notre Dame. Okay, so, yeah. It was funny because, um, actually, I should have realized that the game would have been yesterday, considering that a year ago, on April 1st, which was Easter, the, um, actually, was it Easter? No, no, no I'm thinking of a, it, it, was, it was a year, a week after Easter. That's when uh, Notre Dame won, and they made it to the finals again, but they uh, lost to Baylor this year, when they won at the buzzer in overtime, like, a year ago or something. So, yeah, I mean, it seemed like a good game. And Baylor actually had, like, an 11, like, the 13-point lead at one point. So the fact that the final score is 82-81 to 81 shows how good that uh, Notre Dame is. I guess, in the end, Baylor just played better defense for a longer period of time. But, you know, that's why I said yesterday, you know, defense wins championships. Um... So, all in all, it was uh, a pretty quiet, you know, pretty relaxing. Not a, not a lot happened. I mean, for once, I actually took a nap yesterday. That was, that was actually kind of nice. In fact, to be perfectly honest, I took a nap in the position you see me in right now, almost. Actually, actually adjust my angle by like maybe five degrees, and like, yeah. You know, prop my feet up, or just, I like, took a nap, just lay, like, I was like that for, like, an hour, which, actually, it was, it was an hour, it was more like 20 minutes, that's the thing, whenever I take a nap, I always take, like, a cat nap, or, like, something, like, short, like, I have to be really, really, really tired to, you know, sleep for longer than, say, 15 to 20 minutes, which I have done before, in fact, it's likely I'll probably take a nap later this afternoon. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Figures I figures I would yawn when I'm talking about uh, about sleep. Guess it's a guess it's uh, subliminal. I don't know. Um. So again, not much is happening this week other than maybe tonight because tonight is the. Uh, the men's championship game for the NCAA. 
And I know I said this yesterday, but I'm actually picking Texas Tech to win over Virginia. Probably because Texas Tech showed that they play better defense. And Virginia really got lucky the last two games they won. They never should have beat Purdue. And they never should have beat... Who, who else did they beat? Darn it. Auburn. Yeah, Auburn. So, yeah. I'm picking Texas Tech to win. You know, go for, uh, as Shannon Sharp says, uh, my homeboy's alma mater. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes. That's what he calls Patrick Mahomes is my homeboy. So, that's cool. Um, other than that, no, this should be a pretty, um, trying to adjust myself a lot. This should be a pretty uneventful week. Not a lot of, um, not much going on. Uh, at least not now. I mean, the weekend is going to be, you know, something because, you know, it's Palm Sunday next, well, this this upcoming weekend is. And uh, I mentioned this a year ago, but for those of you who don't know, if you're a Christian or Catholic and it is Palm Sunday, you got to go to church. And they actually give you, like, palms, like, from actual palm trees. That's really cool. But, um... The uh, bad news is we get to read the entirety of the Passion of Jesus Christ. Yay! It's a long service, to say the least. And don't get me wrong, I do go to church. Obviously, I try not to preach about stuff because... Like, I like to point out that I'm not preaching. I'm not. I'm just saying what... I'm just saying, like, you know... You know, facts and trivia. At least I think I am. If I really am preaching, will someone let me know if I am? Because I really didn't, because I never want to do that. That's, that's exactly what those bad, pure flicks religious movies do. And that's, that's not cool. But, yeah, so, um, it's a long service. Not necessarily looking forward to it, but... And you gotta do what you gotta do. And yes, it is the same story that's based on the movie that Mel Gibson directed back in the early 2000s. Although personally for my money, and you'll hear me say this a lot, if you want to read The Passion, any, read or listen to or watch anything with The Passion in it, just watch the South Park episode, Passion of the Jew. It's funnier. Actually, I haven't seen that episode in quite a while. I should get on that. In fact, if I recall correctly, the Nostalgia Critic put that in his uh, top 11 best South Park episodes. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones on that list. Good Times with Weapons. That was the first season opening I saw. Um, Make Love, Not Warcraft. Britney's New Look. Christian Rock Hard. Um, the uh, the Coon Trilogy. That was that was actually the fourth one. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil the top three, but those were those were what was on that list. It was actually that's actually one of the that's actually one of my favorite episodes in the South Tree. I miss him doing top elevens. I do, like um. He did a top 11 Simpsons episodes. He did a top 11 um, movie sequels. That was a good one. He did a top 11 scary performances. Top 11 saddest moments. Like, yeah. And for those of you who are wondering, he does a top 11 because he likes to go one step beyond, which... Is actually really cool. Oh, another really good one is the top eleven Christopher Walken moments. That was a that was a great one. I love that one. That was I actually watch it later. I don't know, but yeah, that's uh. You're getting a lot of facts about you're getting a lot of like facts about what I like to watch, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see. I actually have been feeling kind of nostalgic lately, and. No kidding, of course this would happen around the time I was at Trinity Pauling. 
But around the time I was attorney Polly, yeah, but I just said that twice. Um, some people figured out that you can actually um, upload information from Game Boy uh, games onto like the internet, and then you can download them in order to play them on your computer. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately. It's awesome. All you gotta do is, if you, and if something bad happens that you don't like, you can just press Control R and resets the game. Although, make sure you save. You really wanna make sure you save. You don't wanna be that one guy that like gets all the way to the end, and then like, you, your like battery dies on this computer, when you, so it really wouldn't die, but like, something happens that makes you, makes the game turn off, and you turn on the game, and that starts you off from the very beginning before you start, and then you're like, no. No one likes that. That's uh, that's a real pain. I, uh, nothing's happened to me to that extent, but I'd be lying if I said I've never, like, got really far from one point, never saved at all, and then I turned it off and I realized, oh darn, I didn't save. And then I gotta do it all over again. You're like, nah, I don't want to do it now. So, yeah, that can be a, a huge turn off. Um, yeah, sorry that, sorry this video is a little bit on the boring side, it's just that, again, this weekend was pretty, pretty ordinary, not that, no, it's a bad thing, but I'll get into more on that when we get to say May 15th, as, uh, any long-term viewers of these videos know what, uh, might actually have an idea as to what May 15th is. But again, we'll get there when we get there. Um, yeah. Don't have, uh, I guess I don't really have uh, much else. Other than ever since I subscribed to, F one thing though, ever since I subscribed to False Swipe Gaming, there was actually one video that they did. But they said they were going to do another video of it later. And that was over a year and a half ago. And yesterday they finally did it. So I'll definitely be putting a link to said video, like I always do every Monday, in the description up top or, or down below or, you know, wherever, wherever suits your fancy. But yeah, look, uh, look forward to that. And you know what? You can also look forward to some good weather. It's actually supposed to be like almost 70 today. Although it's cloudy, so you may have to take that with a couple grains of salt. But, you know, it's something, I guess. And, uh, although it does bring up one point. If you have anything in your car that you don't want in a hot car, take it out. Because even if it's 70 degrees outside in your car, you can get, it can get to up like 100. That's actually a true fact. It's honestly why when, uh, it's actually why it's really stressed a lot that when, uh, new parents have children, like, they do not keep the baby in the car at all. Like, that would actually be, I mean, that is one thing that would bother me if I was like a parent. It's like, um, what if I were to run really, 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 really fast to get my cart and then take the cart running really, 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 really fast back to my car and pick up my, pick up my, pick up my child? You know, would that be okay? I mean, I swear I would run as fast as I could. I don't know. Now I really am starting to ramble. I better get going before. I do something ridiculous. So like, favorite, and hit that subscribe button. I could really use to support on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And as always, I'm very humble. I made this video for all of you guys to watch. Enjoy for today. I'm very hopeful that we have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, if you guys ever want to talk or chat, I'm always going to hear to let in here. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices.